Most people would say that they love a good book, but I fear we're losing the discipline of reading in our culture today. In our ever-increasing pace and the all-consuming just busyness of our lives, more people are turning to social media blurbs, podcasts, and headlines for their information. Doesn't it seem like fewer people are willing to invest the time to dive into a good book today? Now, if you've noticed this too, you're not alone. A Pew Research Center study in 2018 found that nearly a quarter, 24% of U.S. adults admit to not even partially reading a book in the last year. And yes, that includes audiobooks too. It's like we graduate from school and no longer forced to read. We graduate from reading too. Don't fall into this trap of lazy learning. Now, as much as I love podcasts, I have one, and I like YouTube, I have this channel, and I tolerate social media. It's a necessary thing that we have to do to reach people where they're at today. There is no substitute for solitude and a good book. Even with the rise in popularity of audiobooks, I've recorded and produced some of those too, and trust me, they're, they're popular. There's something about the slow, sometimes hard work of reading a text that works your brain and stimulates your thinking unlike anything else. Now, while some studies declare that there's basically no difference between reading and listening to a book, I don't think that's entirely true. If you look a little closer, that they can be a bit misleading. Most of these studies are based on how well people test in remembering stories, which I hope we can agree should be a lot easier to remember than the information in a textbook. I mean, people have been sitting around campfires and telling each other stories since the beginning of time. It's something that we're good at. We tend to remember, we tend to listen to them better. So I'm more inclined to believe studies such as one 2010 study that found that students who only listened to a podcast recording tested worse than those who read the text. Now, listening to something is intellectually stimulating. I'm not arguing that it isn't. But the work there is being done for you. Your mind can kind of drift and the speaker will just keep on speaking. And watching something is great. You can learn a whole lot from the visuals, but again, your mind can drift and the movie will just continue to roll. But with reading, you have to focus. You have to understand what you're reading. And in those times when your mind drifts, as we've all experienced before, and you get to that end of the page without a clue of what you just read, you have the option and the obligation to go back, read and reread it again, if that's what it takes to make sure that you fully understand what you read. So reading books today is like going to the gym and putting in the work. Listening to books today is a little more like going to the gym and someone else is doing the work for you. Now, I'm not against a good audiobook or podcast or whatever. Trust me, I love them. I listen to them all the time. But the point is that you need to read. Now, the other options, they're great. I use them. I love them. They're good substitutes, but substitutes are never quite as good as the real thing. Now, have you ever heard the pastor who tells and retells the same old stories, quotes the same passages of scripture again and again, and preaches that same stale sermon over and over and over again? If you have, chances are they're someone who have poured everything out without putting enough back in. They become so busy in the storms of ministry that they have neglected their duties to be well read. They need more time in God's word, maybe, first and foremost, and also in the words of others. Preachers who don't read are like jars low on water. Eventually, they have nothing left to pour out. And if you're preaching every week, how can you expect to pour out thoughtful, stimulating, and well-informed messages to your people over and over again if you are not putting anything back into yourself? Preaching is often a result of great reading. You aren't the expert on everything, but you can consult the experts on anything. You don't have to do all the original research yourself. You can consult those who have already done the research. When you read the Bible regularly, your sermons become fresh with insights that the Holy Spirit has given to you. And when you don't read regularly, you have nothing left to serve. And if that isn't enough to entice you to make reading more of a priority for you and your ministry, there are other benefits too. 
For example, there's a Yale study out there on reading that found that the average person who reads books, get this, lives 23 months or nearly two years longer than those who don't read. So reading improves your memory, strengthens your preaching, and prolongs your life. That's not a bad trade for a few moments a day with a good book. So, what will you be reading?